What up fellow YouTubers? So today I'm gonna do a small project. Uh, for those of you that have been following Project Moonlight, um, you know I've been grappling with the two spoiler issue. Now what I mean by that is, if you look in the background here, you see Project Moonlight has two spoilers on it. It's got the duckbill spoiler, and it also has the stock sport spoiler. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. It's right here. Um, I absolutely hate the look of both. Um, I love the duckbill look, but I want the trunk to be you know, smooth and seamless. So what I'm gonna do today is, I'm going to remove the sport spoiler, and I'm going to remove the duckbill spoiler. I'm going to feel the holes where the existing sport spoiler was at, and I'm gonna use expanding foam that I'm able to sand down, and then I'm gonna wrap the trunk. I've never wrapped a vehicle before. I've never wrapped anything before, I should say. Um, but I did get vinyl that matches the color of the trunk, or the car in general, the paint scheme, um, and I'm gonna wrap it myself. Once it's wrapped, then I'm gonna put the duckbill back on. Then we'll be, uh, waterproof will be good to go and that's all I have to worry about. So this is something I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, I've just been waiting to one, get the time to do it, um, get, a, get a good day to actually come out in the garage that's not freezing cold, um, and then make sure that I have all the materials. So I mean you need the wrap, um, you need some gloves to do it that don't catch fibers, you need um, isopropyl alcohol. So there's a couple of uh, things that you need I'm going to show you guys here in a second. Uh, but for right now, that's my goal for today. So the goal for today is to get this wrapped. Um, I have to go somewhere in the next couple hours. So I'm going to try to get this done fairly quickly, but I'm not going to rush it. So step one is to take off this uh, duckbill spoiler. Now for those of you guys that have mounted a duckbill before, um, it does come with uh, 3M double-sided tape. And it's basically all around the interior of the duckbill. So in order for me to get this off, um, I'm gonna have to just exert a lot of pressure downwards. Now I've already been pushing um, and applying some force to get this thing nice and loose. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue to push down on it. Now, full disclosure, like I said, I've been working on this to try to get the tape nice and loose. Um, I've been hitting it with the heat gun so that it makes it a little bit more pliable. Uh, but what I'm going to do is just push down on the spoiler and I'm going to see if it comes loose. So give me a second. I'm going to set you guys up over here on the workbench and then you're going to watch me real time. So we want to push down on this. seen it this is what the duckbill looks like it's got double-sided tape on the inside and it just basically mounts directly to the trunk so let me show you what it looks like over here so now the trunk without the duckbill to me it looks a little small now but you can see there is some double-sided tape that's left over. And then that's how the double-sided tape is currently on the wing. So I'm going to clean up the tape. I'm going to remove the sport spoiler. Um, all you have to do is unbolt some of the nuts in the back and then uh, I already removed the clips from the last time that I tried to take it off, so it'll come off rather easy. Um, once I do that, I'm going to prep and clean the trunk, and then I'm going to get the vinyl wrap applied. So let's get to cleaning up the trunk.
Alright guys, so I removed the sport spoiler. So this is what it looks like. As you can see it needs to be cleaned. Uh, more importantly, the holes need to be filled. And I personally do not like the shape of the vehicle now that there's no spoiler on there. So, uh, like I said before, I'm going to use some sort of expanding foam just a little bit on the inside of there. Um, so it kind of spills out, then I'm going to sand it down flush, and then I'll put the vinyl over the top. So let me show you the materials that I have for this project. Alright guys, so these are the materials that I have. Um, in the back there I've got some 1000 grit wet sandpaper. Uh, I have a bottle so that I can put the 70% isopropyl alcohol in. Um, I have some gloves that are polyurethane coated. So they're designed not to have, you know, obviously like the little loose fibers, things like that. Um, I bought some of this great stuff. It's expanding foam. Uh, it is sandable. Some magnets to hold down the wrap. Double-sided tape so I can put the uh, spoiler back on. And then I have this uh, wrap that I got from Metro Styling. It's 3M uh, 1080. And it's in, let's see if I can focus here. Uh, it's going to be hard to focus, but it's in the same color as uh, my current paint job. So I'll show you more of this whenever we get to the wrap portion of it. But uh, these are the materials that I'm going to use to get this project completed. So let's go ahead and get started on that. All right, guys. So let me give you a little bit of an update. Um, at this point, it's trial and error. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm going to try to do here. So I showed you guys the existing holes that were in the trunk. So my thought is, how do I get the expanding foam in there and be able to get it on the top and the bottom to create a seal, but enough to where I can sand it without the foam going all the way in the trunk and spilling everywhere or me having to apply, you know, a pound of foam in there just to get a little bit out the top. So what I did was I actually put tape on the inside, painter's tape on the inside. Let me show you. I put painter's tape on the inside and then I gave it a small push so it creates just a small hole and I'm just going to put a little bit of foam in there, just a little spray. My hope is, is that with the indention the foam will get a little bit behind there and then spill out the top. Enough for me to of course sand it and it stick on there. So I just need to press into each one of these sections right here and then we're going to apply some of this foam. Now whether or not this will work, um, I have no idea. My only other thought was applying the tape on the outside and then opening the trunk and spraying the foam in there that way. Um, but I don't know how runny the foam is. I mean obviously I could test the foam before I even start applying it. But because the trunk is going to be up at an angle, once I spray it on the side of the trunk, it, it's going to basically just run down. Um, so that's why at least if I can do it this way, gravity is going to put the foam downwards and maybe I'll get lucky and this will work. Again, when I spray the foam up top, I'm going to have a little bit of the foam, you know, obviously over a little bit on the sides so that if I do sand it down, it's like a plug and it's able to support itself from the top. Um, if I just spray it in the hole and then sand it down, then there's nothing to allow it to grip to, you know, obviously the inside or the edge of the hole. So again, this is all trial and error. Um, I haven't seen anybody do this. Um, I don't even know why I chose expanding foam because in my mind that would work. I guess realistically I could just apply the wrap over top of this, but just like I'm doing with the tape, if someone or something was to push in the wrap, it's going to leave a dent in the film and I don't want that. I want it to just look smooth and flush. So I'm going to set this up. I'm going to try the expanding foam, um, see what happens. And then I'm going to come back to you guys and let you know whether or not it was a success or failure. All right guys, so I applied the expanding foam in the cracks. I just need to let it cure. This is about 15 minutes and then I can go ahead and send it down. So that's what it looks like. Tried to get it in there as cleanly as possible, but this stuff expands really quickly. 
So it's just a matter of getting it in the hole, making sure it's, it's filled, almost like uh, you put plaster on the wall. Um, get it in the hole, we're gonna let it, we're gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna sand it down. All right guys, so just a quick update here. Let me just show you, let's see if you can even see it. The foam material. So it's cured, it's hardened. Um, at this point, I'm going to take my razor blade and I'm just gonna lop the top off. From there, I'll sand it down and then I'll apply the wrap. So quick and easy, you just got to take your time, let the foam set. Even if you want to wait all the way overnight, you can do that, um, but let it set. And then you go through, this thing obviously cuts through just like it's foam, because it is uh, quick and easy. Now we're going to get it sanded down. All right guys, so what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to hit it with some thousand grit sandpaper. Now, my train of thought is, some of you guys are probably cringing at the thought of sandpapering the trunk. Uh, but my thought is, let me hit it with some of this thousand grit sandpaper. Um, I actually have a bucket of water down here, so it's gonna be wet sanded, but I'm gonna try to get that as smooth as possible. If for whatever reason this foam idea does not work, then the only other option for me is to get those holes welded. It'll need to be sanded and painted anyways. So I'm taking the lesser of two evils approach. Some of you guys are probably like, don't even put the wing on there, just leave the, the stock one on there. Cool, I could do that. Um, but at the end of the day, this is something that I wanna do, so I'm gonna go forward with it. What you're gonna see next is me using this 1000 grit sandpaper, wet sanding it, and we're gonna get to the areas of foam over here. So let's go from there. All right guys, so here's the final product after I sanded it. So you can see that all of those high spots were knocked down. So the general rule of thumb when applying vinyl is if you can feel it, you can see it. So when you run your finger over this, for any of you guys that have ever used Bondo, although you can see it, you can't feel it. It all feels flush, it all feels smooth, which is good. So when I apply that vinyl, if you saw any um, high spots or if there was leftover residue that I didn't catch, once you throw the vinyl film over that, you're, it's only gonna make it stand out even more. So again, I hit it with the wet sand, 1000 grit, um, and I concentrated specifically in these areas. Um, if you guys could feel it, you would feel that this is, it's flat. So the next thing I'm gonna do, obviously the vehicle just got really dirty by me doing that process. So I'm gonna hit it with the uh, isopropyl alcohol, and I'm gonna clean the entire trunk off. And then we're gonna get to applying the wrap. All right, so I just finished cleaning this area. As you can see, um, I washed it down with the isopropyl alcohol, um, and then I hit it with two different rags, just so one of them, you know, if it was damp at all, I could go over the final one, get any sort of residue on it. Now, again, one thing that you definitely want to make sure to do is you need all of these inside seams cleaned off. Make sure everything's dry. So you're gonna do all the inside seams, especially right here on the back. Make sure there's no dirt, anything like that. Because once you apply the wrap over, you're gonna push it into the crevice. And then when you open up the trunk, you're gonna use the heat gun to allow a final bond. So I'm gonna hit the trunk with a little bit of heat just to make sure that the alcohol is dried off. 
and then we're gonna figure out how to wrap this. So stay tuned. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some magnets to hold on the wrap. Over here, I'm gonna stretch it out, cut it to length, and then start the applying process. So the trunk outline comes right here, so I'm probably just going to use it right here, 50%. All right, so now I'm gonna work from one side and work my way over here. All right, guys, so right now what I'm doing is I'm trying to get all the air bubbles out of the film. So you guys saw me initially apply the film, and I very gently just used my hand to kind of put it down. But at this point, what I'm doing is uh, I'm securing it. So once you start to squeegee out these air bubbles, and there's no bits of air trapped between, you can see the bubbles there, trapped between the film and the trunk, this film becomes like really adhered. So right now what I'm doing is I've been going up and I've been going down and I'm just trying to work out the smaller pieces of air. Um, now this is air release film. So anytime that you move a bubble, if for example, if I was to push down on it, there is, well say the way that the film is, is manufactured, it gives, the film the ability to release pockets of air that are trapped inside of there. So like in this particular case where I have a big run of it, all I got to do is continue to squeegee it forward. And with the amount of pressure that I'm applying, it actually allows the air to come out little by little. So as the air is escaping, it's actually creating a, a secure bond with the car. So I'm just going to continue to squeegee all of these out. Um, I've done most of the trunk, as you can see here. I haven't done the very tail end over here, but I'm working all the air out. And I'm coming back over here. So I'm almost done. I just wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek. As you can see, the bubbles right there. I'm going to leave the camera so that the shine is where the bubbles are at. And you can see them disappear. So again, if you, if you have a big bubble like that, you can just push down on it. and it actually starts to disappear. So don't freak out, this film is actually very forgiving. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing first of all, so if I can do this first time wrap job, then you guys definitely can do it. Now again, be very careful when you're applying the film. Um, I stretched it out as much as I could. 
without tearing the film, I laid it down and again, I very gently brushed my hand over it so that it was applied. And once I felt good with it, um, in order to get any of the wrinkles or again, any of these bubbles out, all you do is work from the center and then squeegee them out until all the bubbles are gone. So again, right now I'm working at getting these guys out. So, so far, it looks pretty good. So I just wanted to show you guys that process. Um, I'm gonna finish up here and then I'm gonna see if I can give you guys uh, a final view of what it'll look like. Guess what guys, everything is finished. So I wrapped the trunk. Uh, I attached the duckbill spoiler. And in addition to that, I also wrapped part of the tail light. Um, so it gives a little bit better look in my opinion. Um, I'm about to show you guys what that looks like. Now, the overall grand scheme of things, I would say the wrap was probably about a six out of 10 for hard factor. If you take your time, you can wrap anything. Um, but overall, I enjoyed the project. It probably took me from beginning to end, maybe about three hours for everything, cleaning, sanding, um, wrapping and then doing the additional wrap that I just put on for the tail lights. So let's take a look at that. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. All right guys, so this is the final job. So that's what it looks like without the other spoiler. Pure duckbill, pure sex. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. This is Fahrenheit Motorsports.